Hello, welcome back. Another MoFi came in. <laughs> it was quite fast. Didn't expect that one so soon. Talking about Groovin the Young Rascals. You have the beautiful outer sleeve, the cover, the jacket. I think the drummer did this painting, the drummer of the Young Rascals. And by the way, after this album, they weren't the Young Rascals anymore. After that album, they became the Rascals. This one came out in 1967. And what we have here is the mono cut. Comes in a plastic sleeve, well protected with a hype sticker and the hype sticker says Mastered from the original Mono Aural Master Tapes. Featuring the hits A Girl Like You, How Can I Be Sure, Groovin' A Beautiful Morning as a bonus on, on this one. Now maybe we start briefly with the content. It's of course on two discs. It's a 45, then it has this advertisal protection sleeves, always welcome. It comes in the MoFi archival inner sleeve. This time on regular vinyl. We don't have any super vinyl one-step stuff here. We have the regular very very good audiophile MoFi black 180 gram vinyl. The mastering was done by Krieg Wunderlich and it is limited to 5000, which is quite not that much, I think. I've got the number 2881. So be quick with this one. It's in a gatefold. Here you have the four young rascals. You know, musically, you have this pop, pop rock, vocal soul music great stuff very yeah it's you hear it's a record from 1967 but in a very 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 good way of course the boomer generation still loves it probably up until today and let me start with a point um, we have it as a 45 rpm in this case, this means a lot of dead wax. Really a lot of dead wax. Which is of course great due to the uh, skating effect. But yeah, let's, let's have a look at side one. A girl like you, 2 minutes 55 seconds. Title 2 is Find Somebody, 348. And then side one is done. You know, I, I get the point where the people who do not like those 45s, um, this is of course an argument against it. But, but, this album sounds fantastic. And this of course has also something to do with the fact that it is a 45. It's so detailed, so dynamic. We're talking a mono recording here. It's so right into the face. It's, it's stunning and it's lovely. It's a great recording. You know, quite the opposite to the, to the, um, um, damn it, <laughs> Eric Clapton unplugged. Freddy. Freddy is searching for his place. Come on, it's okay. Um, quite the opposite. I expected so much and I didn't get so much. And here I expected a very good sounding record and I got a fantastic sounding record. Love it. Really love it. I'd say it's a, it's a 9.5. Great record musically and sound wise. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. And um, so I take the stepping up, the getting up uh, every now and then and turning around the disc and changing. Oh, 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 Freddy. Excuse me, it's just standing on my new Mofi. Freddy. Oh, da musst du runter. Da musst du runter. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now, now you can. Now, jetzt kannst du. Okay, dann leg dich gleich. 
he starts liking uh, to be on, on camera right now. <laughs> yeah, but you can't, you can't. Uh, where was I? Yeah, it's a fantastic sounding record and um, it strikes me a bit that all this super vinyl one step <sighs> we will see we will see you know the the most important things we will see when the miles davis on super vinyl comes when the when the bitches brew as a one steps comes and then we can compare the original 45 they did with the with the one step we will see we will see but this in this case Everybody who has it can be very happy with this release. So, now I have to take care for a very disappointed Friedrich because he didn't find his space for the video. It was my mistake because I placed too much stuff there. So I have to take care now of Friedrich. See you on the next one. Thank you for your time. Bye.